Hi, I promised to read the, my book, the one I wrote and illustrated about the little beaver during reading month, March reading month, and I'm here to share it with you, and I would love to read it to you. Before I read it, i quickly show you that I've written two books. This one is Trying My Best with Joy, Conversations with Grandma, and about a little girl at in a school setting and some of the challenges she comes across while at school. And my most recent book that I wrote and illustrated is Little Beaver Learns That He Is Special Too. I um, read this book to some of the classes at the elementary library, but there's a lot of children that have not heard it. So I'm going to share it with you and I really hope you enjoy it. Little Beaver learns that he is special too. Little Beaver lived in the woods with many other animals. He loved to play, explore, and have fun. Sometimes he didn't want to play alone. Sometimes he wanted to have friends and play with the other young animals. He continued exploring and saw fawn. Little Beaver asked Fawn, would you like to play? The young deer said, yes, come play tag with me. Fawn happily leaped over fallen trees and stumps. He reared and bucked, excited to play. Little Beaver tried to keep up, but struggled as he crawled over a tree in his way. Fawn laughed and said, you are too short and slow. You will never keep up. Your teeth are as big as your legs. Little Beaver was discouraged, embarrassed, and lonely. He decided to go where Fawn could not see him. Fawn told Little Beaver he was sorry. Little Beaver was glad Fawn apologized, but wondered if he really was short, slow, and had big teeth. Little Beaver then saw Bunny. Bunny was short. Maybe Bunny would like to play. Little Beaver asked Bunny to play and was very happy when Bunny said yes. Immediately, Bunny hopped very high over a log, <clears throat> excuse me, very high over a log and yelled for Little Beaver to catch him. Little Beaver tried to keep up, but once again, didn't come close to keeping up. Bunny laughed at Little Beaver and said, you are too slow. You can't jump, and what do you do with your big teeth? Bunny continued, I use mine for carrots, but you have bigger teeth than me. Little Beaver didn't know why his teeth were so big. He didn't want a carrot, and he decided he didn't want to play with Bunny. Sadly, Little Beaver continued on looking for an animal with smaller legs. Little Beaver then saw Little Eagle. Little Eagle had thin legs that didn't look very fast. Little Beaver asked Little Eagle if he would like to play. Little Eagle was happy to play. Little Eagle jumped and flew to a high tree branch. Little Beaver just looked up. He couldn't believe that Little Eagle was higher than Fawn and Bunny. Little Eagle laughed and said, You will never catch me. Little Eagle told Little Beaver, You have short legs and you need wings like I have. Little Eagle had a beak and couldn't imagine trying to eat with those big teeth in the way. Little Beaver felt so alone. He didn't understand why all the animals were so fast and could go so high. He couldn't do anything. No one would ever want to play with him. He then saw a little squirrel sitting with an acorn. Little squirrel was small and couldn't fly. Maybe they could play. Little Squirrel said he would love to play. Little Squirrel ran up a tree, chattering away. He laughed as Little Beaver sat at the bottom of the tree, looking up at him. Little Squirrel started chasing another squirrel. They both ran up and down the trees, jumping from tree branch to tree branch. Little Beaver sadly walked away. As he got closer to the river, he heard a loud commotion. All the young animals were running for the river. 
They yelled to Little Beaver, run, there's a fire and we have to cross the river. All the animals got to the river and could see their parents on the other side. Their parents were yelling for them to come over to safety. The river had a fast current and they were afraid to go. Even Little Eagle was afraid. Little Eagle had just learned to fly. He was afraid he would drown in the strong current. He would fall in the strong current and drown. They all gathered at the edge of the river in terror as the fire came closer. Quickly, Little Beaver started chewing down tall trees near the river bank. The trees fell over the river, hitting the other side. They made a bridge over the raging current. Little Beaver told the little animals to run on top of the fallen trees. He told them that the current couldn't reach them up there and they would be safe. All the young animals rushed across the bridge that Little Beaver had made. Little Beaver hurried over when he saw that everyone was safe on the other side. Little Beaver then found his mother and wanted to go home. Little Beaver was happy that all the animals were safe, but he was still sad that he didn't have any friends. Poor Little Beaver. As Little Beaver talked to his mother, he heard what sounded like his name being yelled. It sounded like the animals were shouting to him. He turned around. He couldn't believe it. They were yelling, Yay for Little Beaver! Little Beaver saved all the young animals from the fire. Yay for Little Beaver! Little Beaver stood in awe with his eyes wide. Slowly a grin came across his face. All the animals thought he was a hero and wanted to be friends. From that day on, all the animals were kind to each other. They never teased each other again for being different. All the animals learned a very important lesson that day. They learned that each animal is very special in its own way. All the young animals had special things they could do. And of course, we all know the very special thing that little beaver could do. Be strong, be confident, be you. I hope you enjoyed the book. I hope you also remember how Little Beaver learned to be strong, to be confident, and to be himself, and to know that although others can be better at things than you, and we're all very different, we all have very special things we can all do. If you wrote a book or want information, I've put a lot of research into getting a book done without spending hundreds and thousands and thousands of dollars or getting so many copies that it costs way too much. Contact me and I'd be glad to share the information I have. If you're a teacher and you want your class to do books or if you just wrote one yourself, just want a couple copies made. I did find a lot of information on it and I'd be glad to share some information with you. It's just information that I've learned from researching and getting my books published so I could get them out there and I'm not trying to make money off from sharing it with you. It's all free. It's just information that I've spent time putting together and I'd be glad to help you if you want it. I hope you enjoyed this story and I hope you're staying healthy and have a good day and thank you for listening.